People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Washington versus Turner. You all have known each other for eight years. You've been dating for almost two. Uh, Mr. Washington, why have you brought your girlfriend to court today? Well, Your Honor, this great, good-looking guy stand for you today <laughs> to tell you about this so-called lover of mine is cheating on me. Well, I have found text messages that was very strange to me. She's been lying, on, lying to me, and, and I don't know what's going on with her while she was actually treat a young man like myself. I cook, I clean, I, I make sure that she's in a bubble bath. She's all right. I will make you that. Not, not only that, I massage her and I give her great loving that no other man gay gives her. <laughs> is the full package. That's full what he's package. saying. That's right. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, Turner. What do you have to I'm say here, about that, Ms. Turner? I'm here to prove that he, he could trust me and that I'm to, here to fight for my relationship. Mr. Washington, has she cheated on you in the past? She has cheated on me in the past, but I forgave her. And I wanted her to let's move on. All right, let me ask Ms. Turner, how did it go down from your viewpoint? Uh, he said that I needed to be honest with him, and I told him. I came forth with him because at the time that this happened, I wasn't putting my eggs all in one basket for him. But you being the man that you are... The great man that he is. Magnanimous <laughs> in nature. Yeah, you took her back. Absolutely. I took, I took her back because she <laughs> came to me and said, you're my superman. And I'm like, okay, I'm here to save the day. You know, you got to dress, you got to right, pull Superman, your shirt off. We got Wonder Woman. Yeah, Superman got a Wonder Woman. So I like, so we can join powers, you know what I'm saying, conquer the world. Like you guys, y'all went to college, you went to Spelman, you know what I'm saying, and got, got y'all things shown up. Y'all <laughs> you know So yeah, so I do my research. So it's like, you guys, you know what I'm saying, have a bond, and you guys have went through trials and tribulations, but you fall through it. So, you know... I still love her, you know what I mean, from, from the time of, of what we had. Uh, we, we went out to parks, went out to the beach because we uh, w w was in L.A. And, Miss Turner, you got back with him because you love him. Yes. Honestly, I never felt like this with a guy. Him taking my son, it was, that was my, the key to my heart because he doesn't have a father. Clearly, you're in love with him because yes, he has stepped up to be the man that your son needs. Correct. All right, you took her back and you all were Superman and Wonder Woman. Conquering the world, I think, is what you said, right? Absolutely. Yep. All right, what happened? Okay, so, so we was in Los Angeles and we moved to Vegas, right? Okay. To make that Wonder Woman, Superman power move. Now, I'm curious, you know what I'm saying? Because things are changing now. The Lord just spoke to me and said, hey, look through a phone. So I looked through a phone, right? <laughs> Well, God I said, speaks to people in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mysterious ways. Lord, talk to you in different ways, right? So, I looked through the phone. I got text messages. Oh, you got... Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got some evidence, Your Honor. Ron, would hey, you please get those? Look, you can, you can actually see these, Your Honor. Text messages. Read them text messages. So, you That's went through her phone and you found these text messages. Mm-hmm. says, send me all your pretty pics. I really don't have pictures in this phone. Just right. hit me when you're free. So that's one set. Mm -hmm. And then we have a second set from other man number two. Right. Says, you back? What up? Mm -hmm. And said, come see me at, at 2 o'clock in, in the morning. morning. All right, well, we kind of know what that is. Says, come see me. Are you back in Vegas? Yes, but what's up? Trying to see you, girl. Stop playing. <laughs> Miss Turner, did you get these? Text messages? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, can you tell me why a man is asking to see you at 2 in the morning and you got a man? They reached out to me. How did they reach out to you? I responded. You, they don't get their number if they don't reach out to you? I responded and... So, was this first guy <laughs> someone you had been intimate with? Before, in the past. I think that's the guy that you cheated with? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. okay. All right, so why is this guy that you cheated with in the past popping up now? Because he's still around due to who he is. Why the hell is he still When you say around? he's still around, he's still in your life? No, he's not in my life. He's just around my life. The second man, he asked you to come see him at 2 in the morning. Why does he think that you would even consider that? 
I don't think he's aware that I have a boyfriend. Did you tell him you have a he boyfriend? He is aware that How I have is he a boyfriend. Not aware. So, Mr. Washington, you believe all these text messages are not innocent? None of them are innocent. Let me let me tell you about this. Okay, she had a graduation and a funeral to go to back in June, summer in June. Are you like me to show you? Sure. All right. So, let you know right now, for real. It, this is the month of June, mm-hmm. 2017. Now, she arrives to a graduation, to a funeral with her family on the 14th. She called me, hey, babe, I'm here, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, cool. On Thursday, I called her twice. I called her in the morning time. You know, you know how you call in the morning time. How you doing, babe? Get up, get up in the morning. You know how you want to do it. I called again that night to say good night. And on the 15th, you got no answer, no answer. either call. Then I called on the 16th on Friday. Yon, I call eight times. Eight? I don't call, I don't call eight them eight times. times. So I call one of her family members. So she supposedly went to a funeral, a graduation, but she, but her family tells me they haven't seen her. They have no idea where she's oh. at. When you talked to her on the 14th, mm-hmm. you thought she was with her family. Yes. I was. You talked to the family on the 16th. They're mm-hmm. like, we don't, we haven't seen her. We haven't seen her. So on the 17th, now my mind wondering, I call her again, she doesn't answer the phone. On Sunday, she finally answered the phone. I said, babe, what's going on? I haven't heard for three days, I'm worried. I'm, I'm thinking crazy, what's going on? And now she tell me, ain't nothing going on, I ain't had no phone, oh, la, la, la. Give, give me all types of crazy excuses. And then as I'm talking to her, I got I hear a man's voice in the background. <laughs> Did so, you ask you about this man's voice? I knew exactly who voice it was. Who I was knew, it? He like my brother, but he's my best friend. <laughs> so are you saying that your girlfriend is sleeping with your best friend? Look, if you ain't talked to me in three days, my best friend ain't called me and tell me that she's over here. What do you put what you put together? Miss Turner, <laughs> this looks horrible. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the type of person that could deal with morning people. So I left, I meet up with my best friend Tempest, and we go, we go to Lucky House. His best friend name is Lucky. We go to Lucky House and we're chilling. And I left my, my phone at my, my sister ho- sister's house. So the funeral was on the 17th. So of course I didn't answer none that day. And on the 18th is when I called him. How oh. you called me? I called you. Your testimony is you went to see your best friend who happened to live with his best friend. Correct, Your Honor. You finally talked to him after he hasn't heard from you for four days. And I told him... Was, was I, your best friend there? My best friend was there the first day. But the second day, she was not there. Like, I mean, we were supposed to meet back up. We had an appointment that morning, the next morning. We were supposed to meet back up. She didn't answer her phone and nothing. So you there with his best friend in his home by yourself? Yes, Your Honor. And you have not talked to your boyfriend in four days? No. Do you see how bad this looks? Yeah, I do. Bad. Before she went to Long Long Beach without graduation, I was receiving other text messages saying from him, oh, I missed you, I missed talking to you. Like who who are these text messages from? From Lucky. To who? To her, on her phone. And Lucky's your best friend. Right. And so you see these text messages, and you believe that she and Lucky are sleeping together. They doing something. Miss <laughs> Turner, are you testifying today that you have never slept with his best friend, Lucky? Yes. There's his side, her side, and the best friend side. Right. We have him joining us from his hometown. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Huntsman. Hey, how you doing? Now, Mr. Huntsman, your best friend, Mr. Washington, is accusing his girlfriend of sleeping with you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had intimate relations of any kind with Ms. Turner? No. Nah. So what about the text messages, bro? What about I miss you. He I want to talk to you. I miss you. Me. you, you I exactly. Miss what do you miss, bro? I, you got other girls to talk to. Why would you want to talk to my girl? You got whatever you got going on with your girl, and you just trying to take it out on me. Because she come to me and talk about what you do. She come, and then you come to me talking about what she do. And then y'all have a problem with me being with each other. It ain't just what 
her with him because she has some type of jealousy with me being with him. You know what I'm saying? But I got tired of it. Just the only time we get to talk. You know, exactly. that's what's making me mad, right, upset Mr. right now. Smith, and because the on. only time we get to talk is because you're talking about some dang on female. You know mm. how I feel about that. You want me to find you another one? You talking about, I got you got it so oh, better than me. Oh, oh, me oh, 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 you sent text messages to Miss Turner saying that you miss her, you want to talk to her. Okay, but it wasn't it wasn't just because they have they share the same phone. But I know I sent her a message. I know he's gonna see it too. But Your Honor, we this is this is a relationship that we have I, on how it was yeah, built. This relationship was about. built like that. All we do is shoot jokes on each other. Like, look at yeah, him. Oh, so that's a joke. So joke on me. So Miss Turner, you talk no, about no. shooting jokes. Now you're in court because your boyfriend hey, thinks you're cheating no, no, no. with his best friend. Hold but, on, hold on, Mr. Huntsman. And that's where the trust come in because he should know that since we built this relationship, me and his relationship is, is friendly. So you're saying, and Mr. Huntsman, your testimony is you all are nothing but friends. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Washington, you clearly are not buying any of this. Buy it? I ain't gonna buy it. I ain't gonna buy it at all. I don't care if it costs a, costs a penny. It ain't, ain't to be sold to me. Well, to get to the truth, this court would like to call private investigator and polygraph examiner Kendall Shull of Kendall Investigations. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Shull in? Mr. Shull, good day. How are you? Good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Shull, you <laughs> asked Ms. Turner, did you have sexual, physical contact with Mr. Huntsman when you stayed with him this past June. What was her response? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. <laughs> what are you feeling right now, Ms. Turner? I'm feeling hurt but happy because I had to come on court for you to believe me. Uh, he ain't finished. This is one test. That's uh, one else. Uh, okay, he ain't uh, finished. Uh, that's the main one, honestly. That ain't really... the main one. You cheating anyway. That's... Okay. 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 Hold on. Your, your... Mr. Shull, you asked Miss Turner, other than the one man you've admitted to, Mr. Washington, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man since your relationship with Mr. Washington began? What was her response to that question? She said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being... The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Yeah. It still don't explain the text messages. It still don't explain uh, you not answer the phone, which is supposed to answer the phone. Well, actually, Everything she said has been true. And, and maybe, Mr. Washington, the issue is you and not her. Do you want this relationship to work or not? Yeah, I want, I want my morning woman. Well, don't let your insecurities be your kryptonite. Oh, repeat it. Repeat <laughs> it. Oh, look at this. Give me some. Oh, 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 honey. Honey. Look at him. You see that? What y'all talking about now? <laughs> Now, All right, Ms. Mr. Turner. Cutler. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have anything you want to say to Mr. Washington? I do love this man. He is my Superman. You've been there for me and my son, which is the biggest gift and blessing that I could ever think about. And my thing is, is that I need you to trust me. I need you to be my Superman. Arthur Jermaine Washington. <laughs> Will you marry me? Wow. 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 This is, uh... This... This... Yeah, it's deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't find too many women asking men to marry you, and I ain't... I ain't expect this. I'll marry you a thousand times.
Well, Mr. Cutler, I would say our work is done <laughs> our here. Our work is done. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, this is a first. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Miss Turner, that's how you get this job done. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. Uh, I feel like a woman now, like, look, look, I got a ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, good bro, I apologize. I see you, bro, bro. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you the best man now. You know? He wants to be the best man. I got you. Uh, uh, I got long you the bachelor, long as the bachelor party be off the hook, <laughs> bro. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lucky, don't do nothing to have him back in my courtroom, man. <laughs> all right. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Quarters adjourned. Thank you.